All right, guys, how is it going? A little bit of a sad day today here. This is going to be my last weekly reset video in this format. Uh, after this week, starting next week, the weekly reset will be later in the day. And since I have a full time job, I cannot bring you this video early in the morning anymore. So we're going to change the format up, but we'll figure that out and we'll talk about that next week. This week though, final week of season one, but more importantly, one more week until Curse of Osiris comes out. So we're going to talk about what you can do if you want to this week in Destiny. Really only one thing that's important, but we'll get into that. So if you're going to be talking to Cade, of course, go to the treasure maps. We got the EDZ, we're going to pick all five of those up and then we'll be searching for those treasures out there. Hey, look at that, I got a lucky rabbit's paw from last time. So speaking of that, you know, the EDZ, let's take a quick look at the uh, milestones for this week while we're here. Got a chorus challenge for the daily challenge, clan XP, as you all know. Flashpoints, the EDZ, always, wherever the flashpoints are, that's where the treasure maps are. Uh, Nightfall, we'll talk about in a second, and call to arms, you know, just jump into Crucible and play some matches. I think, I think... All of these will be changing once we get into Season 2 next week, but we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll get more of that in uh, tomorrow's live stream from Bungie. But we'll, uh, again, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, let's go right into the Nightfall. We've got the Savathon's Song, I think that's how you say it. And we have Momentum, where Health and Shield Regeneration is disabled while standing still. And uh, you sprint to regenerate more health, and then we've got time warp anomalies. You got to shoot the strange anomalies all over the place to extend your mission timer. That's your nightfall this week for all those that want to jump into it. All right, so now the important thing to talk about: season one is coming to an end. Season two will be starting next Tuesday at reset, December fifth. So we're on our way to go see Tess Everest, uh, Eververse. Her stock completely getting an overhaul, completely changing. So get those bright engrams this week. If there's anything that you want from her, turn those in. Hopefully you get what you're looking for. If not, let's take a look at what her stock is this week. I've got a whole bunch of bright engrams. As you can see, I'm going to be doing a large opening later on this week. There'll be a video of that. You guys can make sure to check that out. Well, let's see. All right, so no exotic sparrow and no exotic ship this week. We always talk about the exotics, so the only thing to talk about really are the ornaments. One for the Merciless, which Zer had last week, and then the one for your Sunshot. And then we have this dance, if you're, if you're interested, the flowing dance. It's a little different. It's a little, little formal dance here. Kind of like a salsa type of a thing. Uh, but yeah, so this is her stock. This is her stock this week. This is her final season one stock. And then that's it. We're going to get a whole bunch of new stuff. And again, uh, that's going to be next week, December 5th. So one last stop. We're going to be heading over to our core, on our way down there. So we've got the Bungie live stream, the final live stream, which is coming uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, at 11, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. They're going to be talking about all the new gear that you can, you can earn and you can get in the Curse of the Osiris. So definitely be seeing new armor, new weapons. But then uh, hopefully we get a look at maybe some more of uh, what we can expect from Season 2. I don't want to go into too much detail with that because I don't know a lot about it. I know they had that uh, Twitch or that stream at TwitchCon uh, a few weeks ago, probably about a month ago or so, where they showed some of the new Eververse stuff, which was pretty awesome. New ghosts, new ships, new sparrows, new armor. All that good stuff, but we'll be finding more out tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. Like I said, 11 a.m. Bungie time. So the last thing we're going to do, take a look at a Coral Ray. She's got the, uh, what is it, the Meditations, Story Missions, Fury, uh, Unbroken, and Payback. So through these, you get some tokens for her. You can jo uh, jump over here, turn them in. That's how you get the Parade Armor. I say this every week in case you guys didn't realize, you know, how do you get that armor from the first mission in the game, then it gets all destroyed uh, in the second mission of the game. But this is how and where you can collect that Parade Armor. Well guys, that is it for today's video. Again, a little bit sad on my part because I can't bring you this video anymore uh, just because the reset again. Reset is changing to, uh, what time is it? 10 a.m. Bungie time, which is 10 a.m. Pacific from now on which will be 1 p.m. Eastern, which is 1 p.m. my time, and I'm going to be at work. So we're going to be changing the format up, so stay tuned. Obviously, next week we're going to be doing a 
whole bunch of Curse of Osiris stuff, but we'll also be changing up the uh, way I bring you this information. It might be in the form of a live stream, might be in the form of a different style video, but we'll see. Again, hope to see you uh, in Curse of Osiris. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Hit that like button if you're enjoying these, or if you did enjoy these weekly reset videos, because that's it. It's the last one you're getting like this. Things are changing. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.